How to cook on your car engine. Unless you own a rickshaw and Emeril owes you a favour, this is as good as a speedy meal can get. You will need heavy duty aluminum foil, cooking spray, butter or oil, food of your choice and an oven mitt or tongs. Optional, wire. Step one, find a hot spot on your car's engine by driving it a few miles and then seeing which sections are the warmest. Metal sections are best, especially the radiator. Step two, figure out what you can cook in the amount of time you'll be driving. Based on a speed of 65 miles per hour, shrimp takes about 35 miles, salmon fillets 40 miles, boneless skinless chicken breasts 60 miles, pork tenderloin 200 to 300 miles. Fish and chicken are your best bets as meat takes longer and can get tough. Step three, place several pieces of heavy duty aluminum foil on top of each other. Tear off big pieces, it's better to err on the side of too much foil than too little. Step four, spray or spread butter or cooking oil on the top sheet so that the food won't stick. Step five, place an individual serving in the center of the foil and top with thinly sliced veggies and whatever spices you like. Step six, drizzle the food with a small amount of wine or cooking oil. If you top your entree with lemon juice or slices, make sure the package is tightly wrapped because leaking lemon juice can corrode the engine. Step seven, fold the foil as if you were wrapping a gift box. Step eight, secure the pack on the engine so it doesn't end up on the road. Use wire as needed. Test the pack's security by closing and then reopening the hood. If the top is untouched, add some wadded up foil. Step nine, after the estimated cooking drive time, remove the food pack with an oven mitt or tongs. Did you know, car engine cooking is taught in hurricane prone areas as a way of preparing food during a blackout.